back to the channel for yet another match day vlog. Mansfield at home today in League Two. Final or penultimate, sorry, midweek game of the season. Obviously, we've got Harrogate. Um, I think that's next Tuesday as well, which is insane. Um, but Mansfield do sit seventh in the League Two table, looking to put a big gap between them and Salford at the time of kickoff. Look, it's going to be an interesting one. Obviously, we come off the back of that uh, win at home against Hartlepool. Mansfield are a very good side. Uh, we did get a nil-nil draw away at Mansfield earlier on in the season. We are going to uh, hook up with Luke uh, to get his thoughts on the game. Have a look at the lineups and um, just give my prediction, basically. So if you do enjoy this vlog, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. I'm going to go... The thing is, I am negative because they're a very good team. I'm going to go with a 1-0 defeat tonight. Uh, yeah, tonight. I just think it's going to be a tough one. I think Mansfield are a very good team. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna go one 0 Mansfield. Reese Oates with a goal. Like I said, if you do enjoy the video, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Luke Johnson, Mansfield tying at home tonight. What's your thoughts? A really tough game, especially where they are in the league, because you know we all know how how, how good they are. Yeah. And um, I think we need to start fast in games and obviously hope, hope to hope to try and score players to sort of set the tone for the game yeah like i said they are a very good team if they win tonight i think they're six points above salford uh, who are in eighth so you know sort of cementing that top seven place uh what is your score prediction for tonight then i'm gonna go two nil newport goal scorers um i guess say nathan Mariah welsh and Charlie McNeil. Up okay. <laughs> Midfielders in the league, Hiram Boateng, and they just give him so much room. Hiram Boateng just gets right through the gap. No one, no one is running, no one's tracking the run. And if a player of his ability is not going to let it go, 1 0 Mansfield, and they are clinching on. Or they, you know, they're trying to get that grip onto the playoff place asserted. Easy goal to score, very good player. Hiram Boateng would definitely love him at KOE. 1 0 Mansfield. <laughs> Nil Mansfield time one. I wouldn't say we deserve anything from this first half. I think they've been by far the better team, constantly attacking, constantly getting forward, and they probably deserve everything in terms of a 1 0 lead. I wouldn't say we've offered much going in the final third in the other way, but you know, we've looked at eight, look with Cavano and McNeil to try and get the burners on, but apart from that, midfield looks very, very rubbish. The referees had a shock, the referees had a shock in the first half. And their goal as well, Hiram Boateng. Hiram Boateng gets all the space in the world for a very good midfielder. Um, Full-time prediction, well, I said 1-0 uh, pre-match prediction. I'm going to go 2-0 Mansfield. I just don't see a scoring. Luke? It's been terrible, man. Like, for, for the first, about 10 minutes, we, we, we were all right. But then, as soon as they scored, they just came from a run of play. But it just seems to be a complete... Just, just nothing, right? Even you know, even even though it was a bad performance, officials aren't great either. But, but let's not play them out, though. Uh, yeah, it's it's not the ref's fault that we shit basically. And a full time prediction. I think it's gonna stay one 0 One 0 up the game.
It's just tragic, very bad defending, and a very simple goal. It's all come from our attack. We don't score, they got the other end of the pitch, they score. James Gale, who, wherever that is, exactly unknown, but big win, big away win for Mansfield. You expect they're going to be unsportsmanlike and going down every chance they can. But it is what it is. Newport Nail, Mansfield 2, just over 15 plus added time. Come on, let's get some. That's why they're not playing for anything tonight. Is there time? Is there time for a late equaliser? I'll tell you what, it's definitely not becoming Newport 1 Mansfield 2. Parade is finished. Newport County won Mansfield 2. Would say that goal was a huge consolation in terms of the, the scheme and the overall play of the game. I don't think we necessarily des, you know, deserved much from that game. I don't think we deserved the point. We definitely didn't deserve to win it. I thought they set up very well. They set up in a system that you know suited them and has suited them all season. And yes, they had a bit of the dark arts about them going down here and there and stuff like that, which is understandable. Um, you know, they're where they are for a reason. You don't just get there off pure class all season. You know, throughout the season, you will have moments here just to run the clock down sort of thing so on the general scheme of it have they deserved the win yes were we good enough not really a, a lot of people blaming the referee and the official and the officiating i agree the officiating and the ref was atrocious i'm not going to hide away from the fact that that was the case but when you think about it have, has the referee cost us the game no i think we've cost ourselves by not being clinical enough and not just getting the ball in the box, which I thought is what we needed to do against a Mansfield team. It is what it is. Got a big game next Tuesday against Harrogate away at Doncaster, which I'm not going to be attending. So uh, obviously the next match day vlog will be next Tuesday at home against Harrogate. Then away at Gillingham before the final game of the season against Crew. So, um, you know, some big content coming over the channel in the next few weeks. So it's going to be in interesting. Uh, Luke's fan cam will be out. Uh, I can't speak. <laughs> Luke's fan cam will be out very shortly. If you have enjoyed this match day vlog, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And at the end, do what Charlie McNeil says. Up the count. This is Charlie McNeil. Subscribe to Mike Green YouTube channel.